Right now at 4.30, the attempt to recall one of the most powerful state GOP lawmakers has failed after a review by state elections officials. It comes after thousands of recall signatures were called into question last month. CBS 58 Capitol correspondent Emily Fannin explains why organizers are vowing to try again. So we will now take these petitions from you. After several weeks of coming through more than 10,000 recall signatures turned in seeking to remove Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, a new report by the Wisconsin Elections Commission found the effort was insufficient because not enough valid signatures were submitted. On Thursday, the six members on the bipartisan commission will meet to vote on the recommendation. If approved, it would essentially kill the recall effort put forth by organizers who blame Voss for not doing enough to overturn the 2020 presidential election. I think it was all done out of spite. He had no authority to, to do what they were asking him to do to begin with. Uh, if you follow our Constitution, that they don't give the authority to the Speaker. Still, organizers are not giving up. They've already launched a second recall attempt against Voss after WEC previously determined the group did not collect enough signatures in the correct legislative district for Voss. They're talking about starting again and doing another recall on him. Get over it. Uh, I, this is just ridiculous. Now, the first recall attempt failed in large part because many of the signatures were found to be forged, which has triggered an investigation by the Racine County District Attorney. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.